It's Nick at North Central Illinois Custom Kydex. I haven't made a video in uh, quite a while, so I apologize for that, but uh, we'll shoot this quick one here today. Uh, number one, just a, an update. Right now it's uh, May 31st, 2016. Our orders so far this year have been uh, rocking and rolling, so thumbs up to you guys. Thanks a lot for your continued business and, and your confidence and your trust and all those things. Um, if you're waiting on a holster, uh, appreciate your patience. Um, if you know anything about me or the company, you know that um, I work my tail off to get these things out as quick as I can, uh, but I'm not willing to sacrifice any amount of quality uh, to push volume. So if you uh, need a holster fast uh, for a legitimate reason, uh, let me know and I'll see if I can work with you. Other than that, I do appreciate um, your patience. Uh, I'm getting them out as quick as I can, in addition to working on uh, some new things. So that's uh, kind of what this video here uh, is supposed to be about. I, I get requests for new things all the time, and uh, I have to pick and choose uh, what I think makes sense. And uh, one of the things that I see uh, some need for um, is uh, duty holsters, so like law enforcement uh, duty holsters. Uh, the reason I see this as a potential uh, need is because I see other ads uh, on Facebook and elsewhere uh, for level two and level three holsters uh, that uh, I don't believe uh, stand up to that or they, they would not stand up to that in testing. So um, I've had requests for duty holsters and, and as I was saying I see some of the, the things out there being passed off as duty holsters and I decided I needed to jump in this market just to put out uh, a quality product. So this is um, our, our Nick Kydex, North Central Illinois Custom Kydex uh, duty holster. This one happens to be a level three. Um, and just to, sh to let you know what, I, what I'm seeing out there is, it's like uh, any company will take, I don't have uh, one sitting here, but it's like they'll take any of their normal um, outside the waistband holsters, maybe for, from a USPSA type holster or whatever, uh, they'll throw some type of, of rotating hood or snap thumb brake assembly on it and then call that a level two duty holster, which um, all they're, they're gauging that off of is the fact that it has an active retention device. Okay, that's good. That active retention device is obviously an important part of a retention duty holster, but it's not everything. Um, one significant uh, failure point on uh, on quote unquote duty holsters if they're actually tested is uh, how the holster attaches to the belt. So first off, um, the reason that that's important is because uh, not only does the gun have to stay in the holster itself, but the entire holster has to stay attached to the officer's belt. Doesn't do much good if the gun's in the holster and the bad guy is running down the block with the whole holster in his hand, because at some point he's gonna figure out how to disengage the locks and remove the, the loaded firearm. So we need this to stay on the officer's belt. Um, so um, most of these other holsters that I see, uh, you know, they might be using a duty rated uh, belt loop such as this one from Safari Land, uh, but they're attaching it with little tiny hardware um, such as this uh, number eight binding post uh, that just goes through uh, the single piece of Kydex and then has the screw in it. Okay, that is going to hold the belt loop on there until somebody grabs that gun and gives it a good jerk, and then this is going to pull right through the Kydex, even if you're using 93,000s. So our duty holsters have a, a double reinforcement inside um, to where there's a much larger flange than what you see on this, and uh, as I said, it's double reinforced. Uh, so in order to pull the holster off of this belt mount, the Basically, you'd have to pull out just about all three holes at the same time and uh, a much larger flange than you see here. Uh, so I, I haven't had my uh, test rig built yet, but we are going to um, basically uh, mount this and then hang weights on it and see how much weight we can uh, support. Our goal is 600 pounds or more. Uh, so once I have that figured out how to test that, or if you have any ideas, let me know. And uh, um, I'd like to make a video of us testing that so you can kind of see the quality. 
anyway, moving on, uh, the other features of this holster, um, adjustable retention. Uh, this is 93 thousandths Kydex, which is a step up uh, from our standard 80 that we use on, on most of our holsters, such as this one, um, which gives it a little bit more impact resistance and durability and all that um, good stuff. Uh, this is in uh, this basket weave pattern, which is new, and it looks cool, and it'll match all your other basket weave gear, uh, if that's what you're running. Uh, we do use um, only Safari Land stuff, because in my opinion, Safari Land is the go-to for duty. And let me say this, if you can get a Safari Land holster uh, for your duty use, just go ahead and get it, um, because it's the industry standard. I'm trying to make mine just as good as theirs, um, if not a little bit better, but... Um, you know, the reason I made this one and the reason I get requests is because Safari Lane doesn't cover every gun in light combination. Uh, for instance, uh, this is for a uh, HKVP40 with the TLR1, uh, and it will not fit a VP9 holster. Uh, the slide profile is different enough along the top of the slide that it, it just won't fit. So this is made specifically for the VP40. You can see with, with all the locks disengaged, it still has a, a nice uh, friction retention, but it still offers a, a good easy draw. Allows you to get a full grip on the firearm uh, as part of your draw. Um, so that's the, our, our 93,000 Skydex shell. Uh, the Safari Lane SLS hood bumps us up to a level two when used in conjunction with the proper belt mounting hardware. And uh, then we also have the Sentry Lock on this, which pushes us up to a, a level three. Uh, and then we have the hood guard. If you're not familiar with the hood guard, basically what this does is it prevents any accidental disengagement of the locks, uh, be it from a steering wheel getting in and out of vehicles, uh, or the bottom edge of a play armor or a soft vest or something like that that might ride just right and get caught on this. But it also prevents Mr. Uh, Bad Dude from uh, being able to get his hand in here and disengage the locks. So this is our, again, our duty holster level three. Uh, we do offer it as a level two as well uh, without the sentry lock, but you know, for the couple extra bucks, uh, I encourage the sentry lock. Uh, your department may require a level three or higher, uh, so check. Um, other than that, uh, I do just want to reiterate, this belt mounting is uh, a system I came up with. That obviously, we're using a Safari Land belt mount, but inside of the holster, the way that this is reinforced uh, is to prevent the hardware from ripping through the holster. We'll show that uh, with a weight test in a later video. There'll be a link to the duty holsters in the description. If you have any other questions or comments, you can leave them here, shoot me an email, uh, and I appreciate your time. Thanks.